thought I would do a, a quick video on some drum brake problems. Uh, this particular problem is on an old uh, Cushman three-wheeler, uh, probably circa mid-late 80s. Uh, replaced the master cylinder, uh, still had little to no braking. The uh, cart had been sitting for probably about 10 years. Master cylinder cap was broken, allowing water to come in. Uh, replaced it, flushed the lines, had little to no braking, and uh, well, what happened is uh, the one of the pistons in the wheel cylinder is seized. This back piston is seized. This front one is not. So this moves a little bit, pushing this shoe out, but not activating this other shoe at all. So I kind of see this quite often in older machinery. Um, I was hoping to not have to replace these wheel cylinders just because I wanted this to be a super cheap project. And you see my kind of hillbilly set up here to spread the shoes apart so I don't have to take off all these tiny little springs uh, and the, the hub for the axle to get access to it. Little brakes are the worst to doing the springs. You don't have a lot of room. They're not very cooperative and your tools are too, seem to be too big for them. So, you know, this thing goes like a maximum of 15 miles an hour. So I'm not terribly worried about doing any damage to the brakes. Springs have plenty of room and give to do all this. So uh, the cylinders should be in later today. Um, that's pretty straightforward. A lot of videos telling you how to replace those. But I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up. If you do a project like this, and you find that you have perfectly good pressure coming out of your bleeder screw and little to no break breaks still it's good to go ahead and replace your wheel cylinder and uh, scuff up your drum to reseat the shoes especially if they're glazed then you should have good brakes again here are the wheel cylinders out i collapsed the one piston that was still uh, free to move and you see all the rust that came out of that cylinder so hoping the lines are still up to snuff i would hate to have to replace the brake lines in this as i said it's a super cheap project but uh, we'll see once the system gets all back together uh, i live here in oregon so we don't have a lot of uh, salt water snow issues it's uh, pretty dry here all summer so uh, there you go, look at that. Nasty stuff, no wonder it's seized.